Hello everyone, my name is Prithvi and welcome once again to the YouTube channel of CS Simplified. And in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to learn how you can manage your DNS with Linode. So I do have the Linode dashboard open right here. We have one Linode which is running right now in uh, uh, Dallas, Texas, USA. And I also have the DNS management. So I, I have just registered a new domain name uh, called chstest.com. XYZ, which is only for the testing purposes that I'll be doing on this channel and with this website. So CHS stands for CS Simplified and then test is just for test. And so let's just get started with that. So you will just have to, the moment you are going to configure your uh, DNS uh, records for a domain name, you will need to get uh, the DNS manager. So right now I have not configured any of the domain names with this server, so it, uh, with this account actually, so it doesn't show any of the domains here. Uh, all I'll need to do is either I can import a join if you have already set up a DNS manager, but I, I think it, in that case you will not be needing this tutorial. So most of the people who are watching this tutorial right now are the ones who are actually setting up DNS for the first time on Linode. So I'll, uh, you will just need to click on add a domain join and once you're done with that, so the thing you'll need to do is you'll need to enter your uh, uh, domain name right here. So for my domain name is chstest.xyz. Email you can put anything that's not really, uh, uh, you are not really going to use it anywhere. So I will just be putting csimplified at gmail.com. That is the email ID we're using for this. Uh, channel as well as with the uh, for the email account for the uh, YouTube channel as well as the email uh, the website I'm sorry that we use in CS, uh, csimplified.com you can do two things now if either you want to configure everything on your own or you can ask Linode to put some of the information some of the needed informations automatically within it so if you do if, if you do choose the first one yes insert a few records to get me start using this Linode so it does configure your Linode uh, it does configure your DNS the uh, domain DNS uh, records that is the uh, domain name servers record with the information of the Linode that you're choosing so if you have more than one Linode the moment you click here you get a list right here of all the Linodes that are running on this account so in this account we only have one Linode running so it does show me only one account and if you want to configure everything on your own, you will need to click on uh, no, I want to join empty. So right now, just to make sure that we don't really have to do a lot of things with it, I'll just click on yes, insert a few rec records to get me started using this Linode. And the moment you click on add a master join, uh, it does. Yes. So right now, if, if you can just see, so Linode actually asks you to give five name servers uh, from your domain name and everything is just set up so we have the IP address right here so the, the, these are the things that you do not really have to do if you are doing the uh, uh, default settings if, so Linode has uh, taken care of all of these things so I'll just need to do one thing I'll just need to put this name server record on my domain manager so uh, this is the DNS management of my so I have registered this on uh, go ready there's a uh, uh, DNS manager and here we have the name servers so we are using default name servers right now I'll just need to change it to custom and right here I'll need to give NS1 Linode, NS2 Linode and I'll need to add three more so that goes with NS so usually uh, the web hosting providers don't really use five name servers but I think this is for the extra security and uh, the, the extra features so I have just done it NS1, NS2, NS3, NS4, NS5 just make sure that you have all the five uh, right here yes so name servers have been updated so GoDaddy actually uh, doesn't take a, uh, doesn't take very long in updating your name server so it should get done within less than a few minutes and once you're done with that once you are once you have added that here so, uh, another thing which you can actually do is uh, just to make sure that your IP address is correct right here but if you are uh, using the default settings if you are if you're asking Linode to configure your DNS records so I don't really think there will be any room for an error right here and that's it so 
uh, the moment it, it is uh, so right now we have not configured any of the scripts or you know we do not have anything which is hosted on the server right now so we won't really be able to see anything if we go to the domain name that is dhs test.xyz yes yeah, server not fine so we do not really have anything installed on the server so that's how it will show but this is it you actually need in configuring a domain manager just you need to make sure of two things one that you put your domain name right here and you actually click on uh, yes you, you you just click on insert a few records to get me started using this Linode, and you you do select the right Linode. so you might be having a lot of Linodes. Uh, some people might have uh, you know more than one so you will need to make sure that you know you are selecting the right Linode in the list and that's it just make sure the domain is correct make sure you uh, make sure that you have configured the name servers properly so that's it uh, in this video i think uh, uh, this is this is the simplest way to uh, configure your dns manager on linode and you know pretty much the dns manager that you have so i was using already you might be using any other domain host uh, domain name provider that doesn't really matter you will just need to navigate to the dns manager and uh, you will just need to uh, change the name servers from the domain name side that's it and uh, all the the moment you do this every uh, you will not have to come back to go ready for any of the domain settings any of the dns man uh, settings every single thing will be managed right from here on your linode so you, you can just click here and you can add all the records you can see ca records you can see srv text records c name records a records and ms records of mail server records so everything will be you will be able to manage right from your linode dashboard and you will not have to go back again to go ready or any of your hosting service pro uh, I'm, I'm sorry domain uh, name providers so that's it i hope the uh, uh, video was useful if you have any query if you have any suggestions to give it to me uh, make sure you just either leave me an email at chs uh, chsimplified at gmail.com or you comment on any of the videos which you see on this channel uh, that's it for now i'll see you in the next video and please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel so that i can keep bringing you all the latest updates and tutorials from the cloud hosting world thank you for watching this video